Zim integrated shipping services is up 102% year to date. Is it going to continue to go up or is it going to crash and come down to a lower level? I'd like to analyze this company and make a decision on this stock. I'm currently invested in Zim and I'm sitting on a really good gain. Should I hold? Should I sell? Should I buy more shares? Well, I'm going to do my analysis on the company, value the company based on their free cash flows, as well as their earnings per share and get to a value of this stock and then make that decision. I'm going to go through a process of looking at the company, sharing with you what I think of the company. Do they have competitive advantages? Do they have barriers to keep competitors out of their market? Therefore, they can have better profit margins with lower competition. I'm going to also look at the balance sheet of the company. Is it a healthy balance sheet or is does their balance sheet have a lot of issues? Last, I'm going to look at the discount that I see in this stock and make a decision on whether I should buy, hold, or sell. Before I proceed, just a quick reminder, I'm an individual investor just sharing my journey, my thoughts, and opinions on Zim. I don't recommend that you buy any shares, sell shares, or do any type of investing action on this company. I'm just sharing my experience with you. Let me also tell you about my sponsor, Moomoo. Moomoo is a brokerage that is sponsoring my channel and currently has an offer for new account holders. You can earn 8.1% on cash for three months if you open an account. You can also receive 15 free shares if you open an account with $1,000 or more. Take a look at the details that I'm gonna put in the description of the video if you're interested. Zim Integrated is a shipping company that did really well during the supply chain issues that followed COVID. The shipping rates had really gone up really high and this company made a tremendous amount of money. Their dividends in one year were upwards of more than 25% of the share price. It was just a very, very good boom period for the company. Shipping rates did go down and the market expected that companies like Zim were really going to struggle and shipping rates did come down, but this company was kind of left for dead, so to speak. It was expected that this company would have zero value. And I didn't agree with that, which is why I invested. What did I like when I looked at the company? Well, first, I like that they made a lot of money during the COVID years and they reinvested in the business. They bought new ships. The ships they purchased are more efficient when it comes to fuel. So they could operate their ships more efficiently than their competition. These ships take a long time to order, have built, and then be being put into service. Zim has their fleet well in service and is able to really adapt to the current market. Shipping rates have gone up recently. They're not as high as they were a couple of years ago, but they've gone up substantially. That's really driving the top line revenue for Zim, the profitability and free cash flow. So that's a bit of good news. When I look at Zim and put it in my quadrant of most desirable and least desirable based on competitive advantages and barriers to keep competitors out of their markets, I put Zim in the gray zone, which is moderately desirable. The reason I put them there is that they do have a barrier to keep competitors out, which is buying these big expensive ships. Also knowing how to operate a shipping company. Those are two good barriers. Now it's not an exclusive right to operate particular markets. It's not a patent to keep all competitors out, but it is a moderate barrier against competition. I think it's a pretty strong competitive advantage that they have and the form that their ships are newer they operate better at a lower cost level. So with the shipping rates increasing, but still being lower than they were historically, Zim could be profitable and generate free cash flow. Remember, free cash flow is the cash flow that the business will generate. They already bought the ships and they already own them. So they could just operate them and crank out that free cash flow. Now looking at the company from a fundamentals perspective, the company is a $2.66 billion company. The revenue is 5.35 billion. So you're paying about two times, uh, excuse me, 50% of revenue is the market cap. They pay a small dividend of 1% and several analysts cover this stock and they think it's overpriced. I tend to disagree with them. And so has the market over the last six months. Looking at their revenues, and I'm gonna look at their quarterly, most importantly, because shipping rates went up and down. The most recent quarter, the revenue went up 13.6%, which is very good news, showing that the shipping rates have really risen and increased the revenue for Zim. 
Their volumes also went up if you study their earnings release. Overall, they issued out a dividend, which is really positive as well. The balance sheet is where there's a some risk. They are above three times EBITDA because EBITDA has really come down due to the low shipping rates. And that's one area that I have to go with an exception for this company. Given that the low rates aren't going to stay low forever, they have risen as of late, EBITDA will improve and will get to that rate that I'm looking for, which is debt to EBITDA is less than three. Now looking at cash flow, the company produced really good cash flow in the most recent quarter, really increasing it and having free cash flow in that quarter of $303 million. It's a very good rate of cash flow. And overall, I'll use a good forecast that I have on free cash flow when I value the company, as well as looking at their projected earnings per share that I expect the company is gonna produce. Five analysts cover the company, and they do think that the company is overpriced at the given time. Stock has gone up 112%, so it's probably due for these analysts to update their analysis. In 2024, it's expected they're gonna produce 97 cents per share in earnings per share. That's very positive. And I'm gonna use that in my calculation of the value of the company. I'm gonna calculate the value of Zim per share, looking at the free cash flows that I expect the company is gonna produce in the future, and then discounting those free cash flows to get to a net present value in today's dollars. I'm also gonna look at earnings per share, look at a forecast of earnings per share and value the company using earnings per share. I'll blend the two and get to a number that I'm comfortable with on a per share value for Zim. Starting with free cash flow, the company I expect is going to do about $919 million in free cash flow in the current year. And I'm going to grow cash flows by 4% in the first four years, as well as in the future, just grow them at 4%. That's a conservative forecast, but I'd like to be conservative with this company. I'm going to use a 12% discount rate. That's much higher than a very stable company, a very mature company. And this really represents a higher risk company. So that's why I'm using 12%. I'll get to a net present value of all those free cash flows discounted by 12% of $10.5 billion. The cash on the balance sheet is 688 million and the debt is 5.2 billion. So I get to an equity value of $6 billion for this company using cash flows. The current market cap for the company is 2.66 billion. So there is a nice 126% discount on Zim stock if we look at free cash flows. The earnings per share for the current year, 2024, it's expected to be 97 cents per share. I'm gonna go with a conservative PE of 12 and grow those free cash flows over time of 7%. I get to a per share value of $12.45. The current stock price is $22.11. So the there's a premium if we use the earnings per share method. I blend the two, but I put a greater weight on the free cash flow method. That's the most desirable method used by all the great investors. And I get to a 69% discount on Zim stock. The stock price has gone up a lot in the current year, 112%, but it still has a discount. If we look at those really good free cash flows, I have an investment in Zim of $10,762. And those shares currently are worth $22,000. So I have about 106% unrealized gain on these shares. Looking at what I should do next, I really like the direction of the company. Shipping rates have really risen. The business is strong with a new fleet of ships that are more efficient than the competitors. And I'll be buying more shares of Zim stock. This is a winner and I think things are looking better and better. Shipping rates have gradually risen over the last six months. And it really surprised the investors who really wrote off Zim. They wanted to jump back into the stock which is what caused the 112% rise. This is a good investment. I got to feed my winning stocks. This certainly is a winner. So that's my analysis on Zim. I hope you found it interesting and I appreciate you watching.